Well, hello, family. God bless you. You know, I'm going to say it's a great day today in the name of Yeshua. And we are going to do something a little bit different today. I hate not having my full whiteboard and the whole space with my ladders that I am accustomed to having either in my classrooms or in and on the TV set. I've got two of those that I am always working around with. So I got a little bit creative. Now the, the glass board that I need is rather large and takes up a lot of space and I will have that. And I, so I've tried a lot of other things to present these prayer theories that I'm working on to you today. So we're going a little bit old school. I got my prayer theory notebook and some theories that are going to just make you think and that is the idea. So as you get into this, you were dealing today with some might say the crazy professor. I'm not crazy, but yes, I am a professor. And this is how we really get in and dive in. We're going to do this on a small scale, but just work with me on this. This whole playlist that we're getting into are all about different theories. And I'm going to challenge you to be thinking about who said that? Where did that come from? Is that scriptural? Why am I even praying that? Because there's a lot of things that I have questioned that nobody seemed to have answers except I hear in the word. Okay, so we're going to start questioning some things and let's get to it. So prayer theory number one is this. Pray the promises, right? So pray the promises. Oh, yes. Sounds great. This is number one. Pray the promises. Then... You can demand and claim, right? You can just demand and claim them. Yes, pray them. Pray the promises. We're all told to do that. Just start praying the promises. So we get in. I thank you, Lord, for this. I thank you, Lord, for that. I thank you, Lord, that I can decree and command and say all, all these things. There's over 3,000 promises in the Bible. Great, right? You can go and you can buy all of the books to pray the promises. It's a great way to pray, right? Great, all these promises. But here's my question. You ready? Did, and you might say, did, but I'm going to ask, did you meet the conditions? Did you meet the conditions of the promises? Now, you can pray, sorry, you can pray that you get the promises, but did you meet the conditions? So, pray, and I hope I have enough space here. Can you still see that? Maybe I'm just going to go out a little bit. Pray the conditions. Period. Pray the conditions. This is where you want to be. You can pray the promises all day long. It's great. Pray the promises. There's over 3K in the Word. All right, you can, you can, and this is, how, this is just how it is. You can pray all the promises all day long. But if you are not in a place to receive the promises, then it's a wasted prayer. Because you did not meet what was required to enter into the eligibility of them. So, did you meet the conditions? So, when you start praying, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, that, or Yeshua, or Yah Yahweh, that you help me to meet the conditions. Reveal to me, Holy Spirit, what the conditions are to be eligible to move into receiving the promises. I believe if we start praying the conditions, then what this will do is move us, okay, here, that now the prayers that we pray are thanks. Ah, oh, why? Because you received them. Why? Because you met the conditions. If you start praying from a place of, of the promises, but you don't know the conditions, you will never meet them. So you prayed that you know the conditions. Holy Spirit revealed to me the conditions. Help me to meet and be in eligible position to receive, to be walking in a proper position to receive them. So then, as you pray the promises, the promises that you're praying are thanks because you're receiving them because you're eligible for them. 
I pray that this is helping you. We want to be moving away from, yes, the answers are this, right? Yes, the, the answers are the are the the promises over 3,000. There's that. But we want to be praying in a direction to be ever moving in the flow. Thank you, Lord, that you help me by your Holy Spirit to get into the eligibility of these promises that you have for me. Because there's a lot of them that are if you, then I. Not just that you get. <laughs> No, so there's if you, then I. So as you move into the if, if, if you, then I, and, and so if I, then you, God, thank you. So help me to be moving to where now what you're doing is moving your way to be aware of the conditions. So now you are in the relationship with God. You're in it. You're not just over here. Thank you, Lord, for the promise that I'll have better hair. Thank you, Lord, for the promise for this. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of that. No, you are are in it. You are in this to meet the conditions. So now you are alert. You are alert of what you're praying. You're alert of how you're going forward. You're alert of also the rewards that are the promises to be moving through. So as you're praying, everything becomes a prayer and praise of thanksgiving because you're walking in the fullness of it for all of your days. Okay, so I pray that this is helping you to get away from just thank you, thank you. all this fluffy stuff. The who are you? I want to know this. Who are you, and how many of God's promises are you walking in? What are the conditions of those promises? that you want. So here's what I'm going to challenge you to do. Put this in the comments below. Here's what I want you to do. The promise that you are believing God for, and then what you are doing to be eligible for that promise. Say you, you are, you're believing God for a spouse. God, I believe you be the promise for a spouse. Great. What are you doing to meet the conditions of that? How's your heart? How's your FICO score? How's your spirit? How's your relationship with the Lord? How's your, how's your, are you living sexually more? Are you a mister or a mistress? What are, that's just one example, right? What are you doing to meet these conditions? Now it's not works based. We're not working base for perfection. We're in the relationship. So that way, when we come before God, we've got something that we're bringing forward. Thank you, Lord, that, that by this I'm entering in. And I'm going to give you one example just for frame of reference. Book of Daniel, I think it's chapter 9. There are certain things that, that uh, can come, and this was just so amazing and awesome, to me when when i was able to pray this where am i come on brother where are you i'm going to show you this chapter i think it's nine maybe not don't you hate that i just prayed this However, if I don't find it, I'll probably find it and have to circle back with you. But here's the thing is this, is that when I, I was praying something and that I was eligible to pray it because I had already fasted. So see, I had already met the conditions to be able to pray what I was praying. So I did not know that scripture. <laughs> Should have remembered it. But it was such an, a revelation that, Lord, wow, I can pray this because I'm meeting the conditions because I've already fasted. When you want to lay claim to something, it's no different than getting a promotion at work, but we're dealing spiritual. Lord, I thank you that by your Holy Spirit, you're helping me meet the promises and or the conditions. So I'm praying for the conditions that I'm in this best place with you so that... I'm op, op, uh, operating from a position of thanks that when, when I'm walking in them, that they're here because now I'm aware of them. And so pray on that. I want to know the promises that you are believing God for and also find what the conditions are for meeting those promises. This is only theory number one. I have quite a few more theories, so we're going to get going in this direction. And so stick with me as we get moving into some of the craziness. 
This is how it's going to be for right now. We're going to grow into some greater things. But for more about these, you can also go to julieblairministries.org and find out more about every single thing else that we do. But let me tell you and give you one more invite. We do pray every single day. And I invite you to join us in daily prayer at 12 o'clock. You can find out more about that. And God bless you as you are praying. And I look forward to hearing from you. Bye, guys. Have a great day.